Hello and welcome to today's Nairobi News Bulletin. My name is Modoni Mushiri. Opposition Alliance Court has written to the police notifying them of two peaceful demonstrations that they intend to hold on Monday and Thursday next week. This is in line with Court's quest for the removal of officials of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IEBC. Earlier in the week, Internal Security Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri issued an order which outlawed such demonstrations. President Uhuru Kenyatta also announced on Wednesday that a joint select committee drawn from the Senate and the National Assembly would be formed to resolve the standoff. But in a letter dated June 10th and signed by the CEO of the Secretariat, Norman Magaya, Court stated that the demonstrations will be peaceful and arrangements to have safely marshaled have been made. A hunky male police officer has triggered a social media storm after photos displaying his well-toned body went viral, leaving female admirers drooling. The officer, Stephen Carissa, who goes by the self-made name on Facebook, has been an active user since January 2015. He had been sharing his photos until this week and all hell broke loose when his female users take, started to take notice of his hot looks. Among the viral photos are some displaying his bare-chested six-pack, while others he poses with a firearm. In the photos, he dons a regular police officer's uniform, complete with a service number. The driver of a vehicle which was involved in a grisly road crash on Thursday night along the busy Thika Superhighway miraculously survived the accident. Photos taken by witnesses which were widely shared on social media showed a white Toyota fielder vertically impaled on one of the barriers along the highway. But somehow the driver of the vehicle reportedly escaped the accident and was rushed to Nema Hospital by Good Samaritans. Tosh Ruchami, a motorist who happened to be driving on the highway of the time of the accident, recounted the post in a, on Facebook, and he and other witnesses helped the victim. Business at the Kisumu Law Courts was on Thursday paralyzed after judges and magistrates traveled to Nairobi to bid farewell to Chief Justice Willie Mutunga, who, whose tenure ends next week. There were no proceedings at the courts on Thursday, with all the judges and magistrates reported to have made the journey to Nairobi. During their excursion in the capital, the judges and magistrates will also participate in the annual Judiciary Sports Tournament to be held at the Utali College on Saturday. Kisumu Principal Magistrate Thomas Obutu told Nairobi News that the game seeks to boost the morale and the motivation of the ju judiciary officials. A man who recently graduated from Nairobi University has taken an unconventional path in his desperate job hunting mission. Mr. Gilbert Mutai graduated from, from the Technical University of Kenya in 2015 with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering also, and also holds a diploma in project management, but has been out of an appointment for the last one year. He has now taken to the streets of Nairobi to ask for employment after repeated failed attempts to secure employment. But there could be some good news for Mr. Mutai, who has been receiving several phone calls from people interested in hiring him. We leave you with a sneak peek of this Sunday Snappy 7 with Tanzania's first ever MTV VJ, songwriter and youth activist Vanessa M. Day. For these and more stories, log on to www.nairobinews.co.ke. My name is Modoni Mushiri. Goodbye. I'm Vanessa M. Day is a progressive Afropop musician. I am from Tanzania and I love po positive vibration. <laughs>